ready to get into our warm up today. So I'll have you come into a forward fold over with a decent bend in your knees, rounding through your back, dropping your chest in towards your legs. From here, walking out into a push-up position. When you make it out into that push-up position, round up through the upper back, tuck under your pelvis towards your chest, drive up through your core. From here, we're gonna lower down nice and slow, making your way all the way down onto the floor. Uncurl the toes, coming up into your baby cobra. Little bit of a lower back release. From here, pushing back up into your push-up. Step your right foot right up near your right hand. And if you need to, you may need to use your hand to get that foot up near your hand. Lower your left knee down into the floor. Taking your right elbow, taking it down into the floor, extend it up towards the ceiling and extend open. Once you've gone into that one, taking your right foot back, bring your left foot up near your left hand, lower your right knee down onto the floor. Taking your left elbow down towards the floor, reaching it down as far as you can. You may need to work up to that one, that's okay. Step that left foot back, walking back. Now, if you're wanting to go off your wrist for today, the modification is staying into your forward fold. From here, balancing through your fingertips, take a big step out on that right knee, lowering it down into the walls of the floor. Take your left elbow down into the floor, extend it up towards the ceiling and extend out. From here, stepping in, step your left leg out, bring your right elbow down into the floor, extending it up and extending up towards the ceiling. Beautiful, and stepping in. We're going into three more. Going into your forward fold, walking out to your push-up position, rounding up, tucking under, lowering down nice, and gently down into the earth, coming up into your cobra, warming up through that spine, lowering back down again, coming up into your push-up position. Step your right foot forward, right elbow down towards the ceiling, extend up and open up through, changing legs. Left elbow down, extend up. Terrific team, we have one more to go. Forward fold with that decent slight bend in your knees, walking out again. Curling up through your pelvis. Beautiful, lowering it down, coming down into your cobra. Tucking those elbows in as well. Curling them back into your push-up position. Step that right foot up, lower your left knee down. Last time through, try and get your elbow down and towards the floor. Extend up and open. Changing legs. And taking our left elbow down and towards the floor, extend it up towards the ceiling and I'll get you to hold here. So from here, up, drive your right knee up off the floor, rotate around into your Cossack. So if you're working on your range of Cossack, you can be up here and you're gonna step through, going into the alternating sides on this. You may be able to go down a little bit lower, working through. So if you're up high, what you might need to do is, as you're starting to increase that range of motion, you may start to get your fingertips down and towards the floor. Last one over, bring it into the center, slowly unroll up, walking those feet in, hands to your lower back, open up through the chest, and we're ready to go. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love our health and fitness program. It's a holistic, fuss-free lifestyle with daily coach workouts, family-friendly meal plans, and practical mindfulness. Head to mytxo.com to sign up today. Work hard and be proud. Medium to heavy dumbbells on this one. Make your way down onto the floor, getting ready to go into your chest flies with a twist. So once you're down onto the floor, have your knees bent, feet are flat down on the floor, core is on. I want you to start with your pinky to pinky. So you've got your dumbbells up over your chest, pinky to pinky. Fly open up, palm to palm, go out wide. As you drive it in, squeeze. So you really drive those elbows in together on that twist. Looking to get both elbows down into the floor, keeping your core engaged. Inhale, open, exhale, close. Three to go here. You're doing well, stay with me. One more. And done. Make your way up to a stand, dumbbells down. Going into your walkout. So forward fold over, walking out. Three push-ups here. One, two, three, walk in. If you need to, walk out, come down onto the knees. You may work on one deep push-up, that's okay. Work to your level, as I always say.
Čujmo. Last two, walking out. Walk in, one more. Remember if you need to, slow it down. Come onto the knees if you need. Walk in. Okay, grabbing your dumbbells. Grab one or two, I invite you to use two. You've got soles of the feet in together. Lowering down. Okay, we're going into a chest press. So this is thumbs to thumbs. Elbows come out, drop in towards the floor. Drive them in, turn them around, going into your tricep extension, leave the elbows at the ceiling. Bring the dumbbells down towards your forehead. Bring the dumbbells in together. Triple set on this one is a trifecta. Dumbbell pull over. Bring it in front of the chest. Curl up into your butterfly crunch. Very good, lower down. Chest press, tricep extension, dumbbell pull over into butterfly crunch. Three to go, You're doing really well. Chest press, tri extension, dumbbells to the floor. Pick it up. Two to go, two to go, You're doing really well. Chest press, tri extension. Glue the dumbbells in together, it helps you out there. Into your pull up, into your butterfly crunch. Last one. Very good. Going back down into first set one more time. So going into that, chest fly, pinky to pinky. Open out, drop your elbows in towards the floor, then into twist. Inhale, open, exhale, squeeze together. Keeping that core on. So open out, those elbows drop into the floor and squeeze and twist. We have five to go. Inhale, open, exhale, close. Three more. Last one. And done. Dumbbells down, make your way up to a stand. Walk out. Three push up. Remember if you need to, you may go into a little elbow dip and walk in, that's okay. You may also find that being on the wrist is a bit much, so come back and do a little bit of a break from here without doing the walk in and walk out. Last one. Coming up to stand, grabbing a hold, dumbbells going into that final set, making your way down. So this is your chest press, thumb to thumb, elbow to the floor, rotate, tricep extension, join them in together, over the top of the head. Use your dumbbells to help you come up. Four to go on that one. And you may find that you can't make it up all the way. Okay, so rolling down, chest press, tricep extension, and last one. And done, dumbbells down, standing up. Well done. enjoyed this video make sure that you jump onto mytxo.com for further videos. Don't push your weaknesses, play with your strengths. Making your way down onto the floor, you will need a block if you have or a book works just as well. Make your way down onto the ground Holding onto your book or block and little gentle squeeze at the end here. It's gonna activate through our chest and our core a little bit stronger. Okay, so lowering down, connecting through one vertebrae at a time, roll down, bring your block or book just over your face, tuck your chin in. This is a tricky advanced movement. So if you're not ready for it, you're gonna use your elbow to help you out or pull. So you wanna curl up, 
This may be one that you want to, you'll need to earn your strength for. It is very advanced. Place the block down onto the ground. Going into your deep core, which is a compression. Fingertips are on the floor, lock out both knees. Cross over and down, cross over and down. Well done. Grab your book or block, whatever you're using. Lower down, bring those feet in together, connecting through again. Curling through, hold here. Bring your knees up. 10 bicycle, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Amazing. Take those feet down onto the floor. We're gonna repeat that set. Tuck the chin in. You need to draw in through your core. So squeeze and lift your pelvic floor. Pull your belly button in. Try and go slow. Use the assistance if you need it. Place the block onto the floor. Lock out the knees. Quad and deep core are your compressions. Cross over, cross over. Grab a hold of your block or book. Extend through. Bring those feet in together as you lower down. Hold here. Bring up your knees. 10 bicycle. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Keep those shoulders lifted up. Three, two, one. Brilliant. Lower the legs down and relax. Very good. Okay, coming up and placing that block or book between your ankles, rolling onto your side, laying all the way down, extend that underneath leg, sorry, underneath arm, and blockers between the ankles, lock out your legs, flex your feet. You can lay your head down if you feel more comfortable down there. You can do it without a block or a book if you need to simplify the movement. Just kicking into our obliques on the side. Double leg lift. One more here. Terrific. Changing sides. Flexing those feet will help you out. So it keeps it still. Lift, double leg lift up. Again, you can lay down and rest through the neck if you need, or grab a pillow, pop in that pillow underneath your head as well. One more, and done. Beautiful. Okay, coming back over, placing the block at your fork, elbows here, curling up through. Now the trick, is to keep that shoulder lift up here while you're working through the bicycles. You need to. If you get any clunking through the pelvis or it doesn't suit you to go all the way to the floor, kick up that little bit higher. Make sure you still lift it up. Terrific and done. Relax down. One more set through. Going from that roll up. So squeezing that block or book between your hands. Tuck the chin in. Slow roll up, how slow can you go? It's an advanced movement to come up really slow. So if you need to, as I said, give yourself a hand going into your compressions, lift up and cross it over. Grab a hold of your block or book. Connecting through one vertebrae at a time. Remember, don't go all the way. Hold here, bring in your knees. 10, nine, eight, a little bit longer on this one, seven, Six, you can do it. It's only one time through. Five, stay with me. Four, doing really well. Three, two, one each leg. Superb. Come up, place that block between the ankles or the thighs. You can play around with it as well. Go for five, four, three, two. You're doing really well. Stay with me. Last one, changing sides. Flex the feet will help you out. Keeps your adductor strength happening. Adductors will strengthen your core even further. Kick stronger into your pelvic floor when you're working through your adductors. One more here. Well done, well done. Last one through, elbow holding that book or block at your knees. Tricky because we have to hold our upper body abdominal crunch up. Remember, kick up to the ceiling if you need to. You can lay your head and shoulders down if you've got any grief at all through the neck as well. So if it doesn't suit you coming up, do yourself a favour and lower down. One more. And done. Well done. 
Want all the tips and tricks on how to get the most out of your bounce board challenge? Well, simply click the link below and fill in your details. You'll not only get all the goss on the challenge, but you go into the draw to win TXO weighted gloves, an exercise mat, and a really cute TXO visor. Ninjas are gonna take you through a full body workout. You're gonna make your way down onto the floor. We're coming into a pop push up. A little bit of plyometric on the upper body. When we're adding upper body plyometric, it adds impact to our upper body, which strengthens our bones. So let me show you what a pop push up is. And you're gonna come with me. We're gonna go for five reps, but I will show you because it is a very tricky exercise to do. And you might be coming out of a shoulder injury, so you wouldn't be doing any plyometric on your shoulders. You need to look after your body. We're going to jump the hands out, drop down into a push up, jump in and a little bend in those elbows. Do it again. Fabulous. Now, if you're looking at that going, that's too extreme, you're gonna step out and drop into a stepping push-up. Beautiful, one more on each side. Lovely, pivoting on those knees. Okay, from here, I'm gonna get you to make your way all the way down onto your tummy. You're gonna need your band for this section. If you don't have a band, the other way that it also works is having a small towel, like a flannel or a face cloth works really well. What we're looking to do here is you're gonna work against yourself. You wanna try and pull the band as much as you can in between your hands as well. This works our ligaments and tendons in our shoulder joints, so super healthy for the health of the shoulders. You're gonna extend your arms out in front, hold on with your band, looking down at the floor to keep your chin tucked in from here. Keeping one arm, so you're gonna work against yourself. One arm is kicking in towards elbow, towards your side waist, while the other one is forcing, staying up front. Beautiful, five on the other side. Core is on, push the front of the pelvis in towards the floor. Activate through those glutes, to anchor you down through the lower half. Beautiful, and we go for one more. Terrific, very good. From here, coming up into your front plank, onto the elbows little trick that I want you to do is I want you to turn your hands around. So we're trying to get elbow to elbow. Okay, what we're gonna do here is come up. You're gonna rotate to the side, drop your hip. Stay up, over to the other side. Drop that hip to advance for you. Come onto your knee, come onto your knees. So it's a rolling front plank. Getting into those obliques. Terrific ninjas, stay with me. Stay strong. Keeping your shoulders away from your ears. You're working through your shoulders, you're working through your core. We have one more on each side. Fabulous. And done, beautiful. Come down into a little rest. Okay, coming onto your elbows. And we're going into our holding here for five. Four, three, two, one, well done. Okay, coming over into what's called compressions. Compressions are an interesting exercise. You try not to lean back too much. You wanna lean forward, you're gonna put your fingertips into the ground. To make a compression a bit stronger, lock out the knee. You're gonna lift from your inner, so deep in your core. Quads, hip flexor, core, lift. Five. Not uncommon for that quad to cramp as well. If it does cramp, stretch it out straight away. And done. Body weight exercise on the floor. Very strong through our compressions. Strengthening up the front of the legs and the quads. Fabulous, two more. And one more. Terrific team, well done. Crossing over, we're gonna finish off with five. Plank rolls, one more time, coming down onto the elbows, crossing them through, working through our shoulders, rotate, hip drop. We're gonna go three more, three. Staying up strong. You have this, ninjas. Don't count the reps. I'm here to train you through it. Just stay with me, one more. Other side. Strong. Full body. Thank you. And if you like this video, make sure you hit subscribe. And if you like to see more videos from me, make sure you head over to mytxo.com.
Welcome along to your lower body workout here. We're gonna start off with a four point straddle stretch. A lot of us don't do enough stretching, do we? So we're gonna add that in. We're into a wide stance. I'll get you to take, reach your fingers forward. So reach forward to a toe, to a toe, through the feet and up. Brilliant, let's do that again. Forward, side, side, up one more, one more, let's go. Forward, forward, there, back and up. Terrific. Okay, I've got an ankle mobility set here for you. So you might fall over, that's okay. You're gonna land soft. So standing on one foot, you can have something to balance onto if you need to. It's a six point mobility. So what I'm looking to do is you're gonna take your right hand, 12 o'clock, three o'clock, six o'clock. This is challenging and it's more than leg strength. Left hand, 12 o'clock, nine o'clock, six o'clock. You may not be able to go down quite as far as that. You go to your range. Did you see my ankle mobilizing? So we need to do that. It's good for running, good for strength, good for landing, good for impact, good for tip XO. Go through, opposite leg. This one strengthens our ankles. It works your glutes. It works your stabilizers on the inner thigh, works your knee strength and one out the front. And you often come up quite tired out of that one. Okay, I'm gonna have you put on your band for your next one. So slipping on your band, bringing it up over the knees. It's a crab walk. If you've got a hallway, you can leave the lounge room, you can travel out. I'm gonna stay nice and short today. So we're going to, you wanna stick your bottom out the back, core is on, big wide steps. So we're starting to activate the band, will help you activate through, gives you that instant feedback. Beautiful, let's go one more over. Core is on, shoulders are down. Nice big steps, keeping that band always at full stretch, not letting it sag and done. Beautiful, you're gonna leave the band on. We're gonna make our way down onto the ground. Okay, coming into our glute thrust, pelvic bridges, laying all the way down onto your back. Hands are 45 degrees. Okay, rather than going straight up with the hips, I don't want that. What I want you to do, curl the tailbone in, rib cage is down, core is on, glide up, holding it up here, pushing up through, hold for five, four, squeeze, 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 push through your heels, two, one, stay here, stay here, four, three, two, one, kiss your tailbone down to the ground, curl it, four, three, two, one, you wanna feel that squeeze underneath. We're here for three more reps. Four, three, two, don't rush it, stay here. Time under tension is where you're gonna grow those glutes. Their posture, glutes are also aesthetical. They look much better in jeans. Curling it up, you wanna curl the front of your pelvis in towards your rib cage here. Keeping that band on, keeping those knees, driving out to the side. Four count down, four count up, curling through. Okay, let's half that in half, two, two. So down, double trouble, one, two. Curl it up, one, two. Can you feel that burn? Two, down, two counts up, it's heads and tails. Beautiful, two more to go. Really drive it up and squeeze. You wanna do that extra squeeze at the top, draw your belly button in. Last one, you're doing magnificently. Stay with me. I know that you can feel your glutes. I know, it's such a great movement. All right, strong singles. Four, three, two, one more. Slowly, never fast. Hold four, three, two, one. Don't slam your bottom down. Slow, 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 slow. Well done. Very easy to drive the hips down after you've finished an exercise. We don't want to finish like that. We want to finish strong as you started. You can take the band off. Okay, more glute. Flip over onto your front. Okay, so we're down onto the front. Our hands are underneath our chin. Legs are slightly separated at a 45 degree. Keep your shoulders back and down. Keeping your core switched on. So similar to before, drive up to your pelvic, pull your belly button in away from the earth, pushing your pelvis in towards the ground. Feel your glutes on here. 
Rest your chin down. We've been working hard today. Exhale, one straight leg left up. You're looking for that whole leg to drive up off the ground. So do your best at trying to get some higher extension. This one's not only just posture, it's also gonna work through your lower back. So we're working our glutes, we're strengthening our lower back here as well. And it's what our spine wants to do. We spend a lot of our life in flexion. This is time to get into hyperextension. One more here, fabulous, changing. Exhale up, inhale down. You wanna push the front of the pelvis in towards the floor, driving your belly button in away off the earth. Shoulders are relaxed. We have five more here. Staying strong, ninjas. Three to go. Well done. You've just strengthened your lower back and worked your, strengthened your glutes. Complete. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love our health and fitness program. It's a holistic, fuss-free lifestyle with daily coach workouts, family-friendly meal plans, and practical mindfulness. Head to mytxo.com to sign up today. Thank you for pressing play, ninjas. Now is our time to come down onto the floor. We're gonna go down into our cool down. I want you to slow down your breathing and think about breathing in through the nose and exhaling through the mouth and breathing all the way into the abdominal cavity, not just our lungs. Make your way down onto the ground. Okay, so we're going to extend one leg out to the side into our adductor stretch here. This is called a frog rock. Taking your hands out in front, drive your bottom down on towards your heel, and then exhaling as you're coming forward, lowering that pelvis down into the floor. Beautiful. So a bit slower pace now. Working through your breath. So no beginning and no ending to the movement. Thinking it like the waves at the ocean. There's no beginning, no ending, making it a continual flow. One more here. Driving that hip down into the ground. Beautiful, I'll get you to change up legs, taking the opposite leg out towards the side, trying to do your best at getting that foot flat down on the floor, reaching those fingertips out in front. So it's sort of a half child's pose as well. From here, reaching forward and letting that hip lower down into the ground, beautiful. We're all so tight in our hip flexors. This is a beautiful change up of how we can stretch out the hips as well. And after that amazing strength program that you've just done with me, it's time to stretch out. Beautiful, and one more here, letting that hip lower down into the floor. Such a beautiful moment. And you can always feel free to stay here and, and play in that stretch position. Coming onto hands and knees, coming into our thread the needle. Our hands are right underneath our shoulders. We do have our core still switched on. I'll get you to take your right arm down and through, all the way down onto the ground, extend down that shoulder. And then that small twist. Exhale, up and around. Beautiful, opening up through that shoulder. Inhale down, exhale, up and around. Time to give your body that gift of a stretch. After a strong sculpt session. Other side, inhale down, take your nice deep breath at the bottom here, filling up that side through the lung. Exhale, up and around, see if you can reach that little bit deeper. Inhale down, exhale, up and around. Beautiful ninjas. Third final for me here. Inhale and exhale, beautiful. If it's okay to come onto your knees, if you do find it uncomfortable under your knees, feel free to put a cushion underneath your bottom. You can even do this one sitting in a chair as well. I'm gonna get you to bring your fingertips and place them on the outside of the knees there. We're anchoring back into a kneeling cat cow. And from here on your exhale, slide your hands in towards your hips, open up through the chest, take your chin up towards the ceiling and squeeze those shoulder blades together at the back. Beautiful, inhale. And then extend up and really drive those shoulders back and down. And last one. Beautiful ninjas. And from here, I'll get you to flip over onto your bottom. And we're gonna go into our Traditional knee twist hold here, holding for five. Can you pull that knee up towards your chest as well? Three, you'll get a stronger glute stretch. We've worked them hard. It's time to give them the gift of a stretch. Other side, twisting over. Just take it to your range. 
few nice deep breaths here in this position. And second last one, beautiful. Okay, extend both legs out along the floor. Take one leg up towards the ceiling, flexing through that foot. Hands are at 45 degrees, core is on. Inhale the leg all the way over and exhale back in the center. You gotta go for three per side. So this is again, stretching out through your lower back, through your glute, through your hip on that side. Fabulous. Ready to change legs for me, ninjas. Taking the opposite leg up and extend that foot all the way to the ground. And you may find that you can't go all the way to the ground on one side, that is definitely fine. You're working to where your body is at on the day, in the moment. And done, um, beautiful. Extend both legs out along the floor. Going into a knee squeeze. So we wanna get into our hip flexors. I'll get you to drive your nose up towards your knee and condensing that position there. Beautiful, cutting off the blood flow in our hip flexors feels good. Drive it into that armpit, drive your nose up towards your knee. Fabulous, and from here, we're gonna roll like a ball, so nice rounded spine, and we're rolling up onto our tailbone, and you're getting a massage on your vertebrae at the same time. Let's go one more, can you come up to a stand? And our cool down is complete. Thank you for pressing play. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love our health and fitness program. It's a holistic, fuss-free lifestyle with daily coach workouts, family-friendly meal plans, and practical mindfulness. Head to mytxo.com to sign up today.